Surrounded by the sea on three sides, Turkey has long been an important maritime power. As the natural bridge between the cultures of the East and the West, historically it has acted as a natural trade hub, eventually leading to a strong shipbuilding tradition. The first shipyard in Turkey was established in the late 14th century, and by the 16th, Turkish shipyards were among the largest in the world. Eventually, this tradition gave rise to the Turkish gullet. Today, we're privileged to have one such example for sale at Northrop & Johnson with my colleague, Dennis Kaymaz. Before I want to start the video tour of sailing at Çakır Yıldız, I would like to define the term of gullet. A gullet is a traditional design of a two-masted or three-masted wooden sailing vessel in Turkey, particularly built in the coastal towns of Bodrum and Marmaris. So, Çakır Yıldız, the one that we are on board, just fits the description of Gullet. Çakır Yıldız is an elegant two-masted wooden schooner sailing yacht built in 2013 to a French classification society Bureau Veritas with commercial and unrestricted navigation. Classical lines, a traditional style look, and the full keel make her very comfortable under sail. A little parenthesis to the terms full keel. Full keel runs the entire length of underwater hull body giving very comfortable ride, less healing, thanks to the enlarged weather surface and added weight on board. Designed, engineered, and project managed by boutique local Akivadas naval architects, Çakır Yıldız was built in cold molded epoxy wood by Turkish East Shipyard in Bodrum and delivered in 2013. Her interior is made up of Burmese teak and the teak cladded floors with rich fabrics and she provides ultimate comfort and accommodation for 10 guests with sufficient privacy. Luxury accommodation on the sailing yacht Çakır Yıldız is in 5 and suite cabins for up to 10 guests. The full beam master straight room is positioned aft of the yacht, accessible from salon, with a center line king size bed, large seating area on the starboard side port side vanity and home cinema system. Plenty of storage areas also present in the master cabin. Forward of the master cabin on port, there are two twin cabins, each with side-by-side -side single beds, desk and TV music entertainment system. A further two guest cabins are forward of the salon on port and starboard, each with a walk around queen size beds desk and TV music entertainment system. So all guest staterooms on Çakır Yıldız has got openable portals providing natural air from outside. The yacht is accessible through manual gangway in the aft when in marina or manual sideboarding ladders on the port and starboard sides. There is also a David positioned right above the manual gangway that carries the tender of the yacht as well. When on deck, the Çakır Yıldız has ample areas to enjoy the sunshine, leisure and entertainment. The aft deck is spacious and has a massive full beam aft sunbed, alfresco dining for 10 guests and wet bar right behind the port side ham station, thanks to her 8.9 meter beam. She boasts wide side decks that led effortlessly to the comfortable and cozy foredeck area, where a further bow sunbed and crescent shaped seating area with tables are ideal for enjoyable evenings. The cabin house is adorned in plush sunbeds between main and foremast. Getting back to the aft from the forward area, through the starboard side in the cockpit, there's a beautiful teak door opening to the main salon. The main salon is the center point separating master cabin and two twins in the aft with two VIP galley and crew cabins in the forward. Main salon is taking advantage of the full beam and having two full sofas and TV unit on the port side and interior dining table on the starboard side area that can accommodate 10 people at once. 
So there's also a main ham station is positioned on the port side behind the TV. So on the opposite side of the ham station, starboard side, two-story galley accessible through the pantry. Galley acts also as a gateway to access engine room in the aft and the tunnel housing all technical equipment leading to the crew area in the forward. Two crew cabins with ensuite bathrooms and crew mess is positioned in the forward area of the boat. Let me give you the main particles of the boat. She is 41 meter in length, including bow spread with 8.9 meter beam and drawing 3.9 meters of water when fully loaded at 250,000 kilograms. Her hull is constructed using cold molded technique with 30 mm solid mahogany stapled onto the 160 by 100 laminated mahogany frames and, mahog and seven layers of four mm mahogany planks stapled to the first layer and the 20 mm of final plank which is fully varnished from the outside. Her two CAT uh, generators, 69KW and 39KW generators, are big enough to supply power to chugger yielders. Her fuel tanks are 9,500 liters, water tanks are 5,500 liters, and the black water size 6,300 liters. She is also equipped with all renowned equipment such as GNS pumps, boilers, Hamann sewage treatment system, Westmar hydraulic system, Selmar water makers, and EVAC vacuum system, which is very unusual for the gulas produced in Turkey. She is also equipped with 320,000 BTU capacity chilled air conditioning system. Under sail, she is also great sailing performance. Thanks to her 220 square meter of mainsail, 193 square meter of foresail, 95 square meter of stay sail and 233 square meter of jib sails. Her standing rigging from Anderson winches, furnished from Bamar and sailing hardware from Antal. So she has got two steel masts cladded with teak also present on board. A pretty example of Turkey's fine maritime heritage, Kakirildis is now available for viewing with Dennis. If you want to inquire more about this fantastic gulet, please do contact me at my email, my mobile number, shown in the video.